everybody um, in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to uh, give more life to your tracks um, kind of not make it seem as if it's so empty um, I'm gonna try to make this real quick what I do from what I've learned from other producers um, I added a uh, return track and this is the um, I sent the um, yeah, I sent the uh, squared sound, the main lead sound, um, to the return track, and all I did was um, um, I just added a side chain, and then when you add the reverb, you want to put some decay, make the size all the way up, all the way stereo, and the quality high. Um, also, this is a very cool um, kind of like a, a widener. You can hear the difference. Um, it just makes things uh, really wide and not um, in the stereo. It makes it in the stereo field, so it's not interfering with anything else. Basically, it's like in its own place. Um, I just compressed it. EQ, you want to cut down the lows, you want to basically cut down everything. So it's just kind of around here in the mid range. Um, you don't want it, you don't want anything in the lows because it'll just muddy up the mix. And especially in the highs, it'll, um, it'll kind of pierce through the speakers. And it's just a really, it's not a pleasant sound. Um, but yeah, this plugin is from uh, Waves. Um, it's like a, I use it as a widener, but I think that's what it does. Um, it just makes things wide. It's used for effects and stuff. Um, but you can, if you don't have waves, if you type in stereo, go to your audio effects and type in stereo. Um, if you click on EQ, filter, uh, you have a stereo effect. Um, it's kind of like, it's basically an EQ to show you guys. Kind of like the same thing, but you do have to kind of. I should put the end here. Yeah, just uh, I mean, just use your ears, whatever sounds better, you know. Um. Yeah, that, that actually does, you can hear the difference. I'm going to play it with and without. Uh, let me just turn this off. stereo effect yeah I'm just gonna tweak with it so basically make a return track send uh, whatever um, for example I did a main lead usually want to do some kind of main lead or if you have a bass sound like uh, if you're doing like a like a revealed recording a hardwell style kind of like bass make it really wide you can use that as well just mess with it so I just added a side chain the reverb and then you can use um, I'm gonna probably keep both. Just mess with it a little bit more. Um, you can use a stereo effect. This one actually does a really good job. And make sure to EQ everything down. This is how it sounds without the EQ. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so 
So, I mean, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. Um, like us on Facebook. And stay tuned. And uh, we'll have more tutorials, project files, and uh, new things coming on. So, see you guys next time.